In this video, I'm going to show you how to add multiple language support to your application. We already know how to manage string resources. Now we're going to go back to our code. And now let's open strings.xml from our values folder. And you can see the list of string resources that we are using in our application. We have an application name that says hello world. We have another string resource called as apples and there is also an apples summary string resource. Now we are going to translate all these three string resources into French. I've already used Google Translate to do that. Now we are going to add additional support for uh, French from within our application. Right click on the resource folder and go to new folder. We are going to create another folder called as values followed by hyphen and since we are going to add uh, support for French we have to use the ISO code for French which is FR and I'm going to click on finish and there is a new values hyphen French folder now I'm going to go back to our original strings.xml and then copy it and paste the same inside our values hyphen French folder now our values underscore French values hyphen French folder contains the strings.xml so this strings.xml contains the same content as our default values.xml as our strings.xml in our default values folder let me re minimize the package explorer to have a better view the left one is from our default values folder on the right one is from our values french folder i have already translated all these text into french using google translate now i'm going to replace these text with the translated one so you can notice that the resource name is the same but we are changing the resource values and now again for apples I'm going to replace it with the appropriate translation and the apple summary with an appropriate translation okay so here we go now we have uh, a values folder and a values french folder and we have a strings.xml file inside our values folder and we also have a strings.xml file inside the values french folder I've kept them side by side for you to have a look at them now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this application on our emulator the app displays English because the device's default language is in English we're going to go back and change that in our settings open your launcher and go to settings scroll down to language and input click on language and select French scroll down again and you can see French selected go back go back and from your launcher you should see the bonjour monde I don't know how that is spelled but you can see the name of the application resembles our app name that is the translated app name we are going to open it and bingo here you go so here is the translated text in French. And next we are going to try Japanese. So we are going to go back to our Eclipse ADT. And now we are going to create another folder inside our resource folder that is called as new 
go to folder that is called as values hyphen j a i'm going to copy this strings.xml from the french folder and i'm going to paste it into the japanese folder double click on strings.xml and you can see uh, we have the copied french translation I'm going to replace all these with Japanese. Close this. So here is the translated strings. One thing I would like to advise is don't use Google Translate for your applications because uh, translations could be inaccurate. So if you were really serious about supporting multiple languages in your app, better hire a translator or a professional who is already well versed in that particular language. Let's go and try this once again. We're going to run this application. Meanwhile, let us go back to settings, settings, okay, here it is, go to language settings, and we are going to change this to can't find Japanese I think this could be Japanese but let me try go back go back yes it is so here you see the translator app name so our app is called something in uh, Japanese which I don't know I'm going to open this and you can see our application can now speak Japanese too. Also, if you are selecting a language or if you are uh, using a locale which is not supported by your application, the default strings will be picked up. In our application, that would be English. Also, if you want to find out the different uh, ISO codes for different languages, go to this URL, it contains the list of all ISO codes for all known languages. And make sure that you use the ISO 6391 code, which is a two letter code. It has codes for most of the languages that are supported by Unicode characters. That is it. And in this video, I showed you how to add multiple language support to your application using string resources.